Welcome to our on-demand training for the Environmental Screening Tool, or EST. This training is provided by the Florida Department of Transportation, Office of Environmental Management. The Preliminary Environmental Discussion, or PED, report describes the district's initial understanding of the natural, physical, cultural, and community issues or resources in a project study area. The PED also discusses the process the Florida Department of Transportation, or FDOT, plans to use to address or evaluate issues and resources as the project advances through project development. The PED is based on local knowledge, planning studies, GIS data, and any other evaluations relevant to the project area. This information is organized by project level or alternative. You can select which you would like to view by placing a check mark in the appropriate box or boxes and then clicking the update button. Use the table of contents or TOC on the right side of the page to quickly jump to a section within the same page. These sections correspond to the environmental resource topics reviewed during efficient transportation decision making or ETDM screenings. In the social and economic section, you'll find the six socio-cultural effects evaluation topics describing potential impacts on people and their communities. The farmlands topic, addressed in coordination with the Natural Resource Conservation Service, is also located in this section and describes prime or unique farmlands in the area. The cultural and tribal resources section includes topics covering archaeological sites, historic structures, objects, and districts, which are typically 50 or more years old. This section also describes potential Section 4F resources in the area and the project's potential involvement with recreational areas and protected lands. The Natural Resources section describes FDOT's initial understanding of the project's potential involvement with a variety of resources including wetlands and surface waters, floodplains, protected species and habitat, and coastal and marine resources. The PED also discusses physical resources such as noise-sensitive sites, potentially contaminated sites, existing infrastructure, and potentially navigable waterways. Under special designations, you'll find information about potential involvement with certain protected resources including outstanding Florida waters, aquatic preserves, wild and scenic rivers, and sole source aquifers. For guidance on identifying and analyzing these topics, please consult with Part 2 of the Project Development and Environment, or PD&E, manual. I hope you found the demonstration helpful. You can find more detailed videos and guidance in the EST Handbook page under Help. Additionally, page-specific information is available on the top menu bar. If you do not have access to the EST yet, you can find the videos on the OEM website located at the address shown on the screen. This training supports the Department's Efficient Transportation Decision Making, or ETDM, manual. You can find the manual on the OEM website shown on the screen. Please feel free to contact us if you have additional questions. For questions specifically about the ETDM process, you can contact either Peter McGilvery or Ruth Roaza. For assistance using the EST, please contact our OEM Help Desk. For project-related information, contact the ETDM coordinator or project contact listed in the project header. The OEM Project Development Coordinator or Engineer assigned to the district can help with other process-related questions. Contact information is also provided on the EST under Help. Thank you!